Um, I think I'll have to say something before that was all stalled. Um, <laughs> Vorrei, prima di iniziare eh, con le poche parole che volevo dire per commemorare Alberto, ehm, vorrei che fossimo tutti uniti nel cordoglio per l'orribile tragedia che è successa ieri in Texas. Le, possano le nostre anime essere con quelle di quei bambini e dei loro parenti, dei loro genitori e di tutti coloro che sono scomparsi. Grazie. Well, it's a great honor for me <clears throat> to be here to commemorate Alberto. I want to thank, uh, first of all, Alberto's wife, Susan, and then Francesco Giavazzi was a real force behind this event. And President Monti and Rector Verona for the whole event and this organization. Alberto Alesina was one of the brightest and most influential economists of his generation. His intuitions had a profound impact beyond ac academia and contributed to shape policy across the world. Take, for example, his research on inflation which was instrumental, I would say, I think fundamental, for the central bank independence to be accepted as uh, an undisputable superior concept of central banking. I, I know that maybe Larry doesn't agree completely about this, but we'll discuss this in a moment. Alessina was never afraid of controversies and tackled them with rigor open-mindedness, originality. His relentless curiosity, ranging from history to sociology and anthropology, drove his research in new and exciting directions. He was one of the first economists to look at the correlation between inequality, economic growth, and political conflict. And while he was a staunch supporter of the free market, he was concerned about reduced social mobility, which became a central theme in his work. <coughs> Alessina was an outstanding mentor to a large number of students and young academics, and a leading voice in the public debate. His columns on Corriere della Sera were essential reading for anyone involved in policy and government, regardless of their ideas. He was a driving force at Harvard, at the National Bureau of Economic Research, at the CPR, and in the Quarterly Journal of Economics. And he was a source of inspiration for many, full of life, self-deprecating, with an extraordinary team spirit. At this, as this conference shows, his intellectual legacy is huge, just like his heart. We miss him terribly, but we must cherish the time we were lucky enough to spend with him. Thank you.